Hello mathematicians, welcome to this video on um, measures of center and measures of variation. We're going to start off with one measure of variation. Variation is um, the ability for numbers to show how different they are um, from data point to data point. Um, what we're going to deal with in sixth grade is a measure of variation um, which really looks at how spread out is the data. So that's a measure of, of variation, is the spread of the data. Um, we're going to talk about the interquartile range. So the interquartile range. And it's also abbreviated as the IQR, the IQR. And the interquartile range literally is a measure of spread. And a measure of spread is a measure of variation. So it's a measure of spread. Or variation. That tells us the range. between the first quartile between the first quartile and the third quartile And again, a quartile is, is just dividing the data up into uh, four equal parts, and one quartile is one of those equal parts. Um, so what we're talking about is in a box plot, a box plot's very, very, very simple for us to uh, find the interquartile range. You've already done the work of organizing the data from least to greatest. You've found the minimum, the maximum, the, uh, the first quartile, the median, and the third quartile. All you're doing to find the interquartile range is taking the first quartile, which would be located right here, and taking the third quartile, which would be right here, it would be the ends of the boxes on a box plot, and finding the difference between them, that's all the interquartile range is. So the interquartile range is found by taking quartile 3 and subtracting quartile 1 from that. So in this case, the interquartile range would be quartile 3 is 10, that's, these are in miles, minus uh, 7, which is the first quartile, and 10 minus 7 is 3. So the IQR would be 3. The interquartile range of this data set would be 3. Now what does this tell us? It tells us that the range of, the, that the range of 50, the middle 50% of the data, the middle 50%, differs only by three miles, or by three um, units. In this case, we're talking about miles. So the middle 50% only differs by three. And so that's telling us how spread out the data is. Um, comparatively, this is um, a smaller spread. So the middle 50% is uh, three miles, and that tells us how spread out the middle 50% of the data is. Um, and it's only by three. So it gives us some sense in uh, the data actually being close together uh, as opposed to very, very, very far apart in the, in the middle. All right, so we have 50% of the data is um, differing by 3 in the middle. And that is the importance of the interquartile range. It gives us a sense of spread and tells us how spread out the middle 50% or um, middle half of the data are. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the next video after this will be on finding... Um, the mean absolute deviation. Take care.